USGSP points next super eruption date amid overdue concern. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Mystery Truth. Yellowstone volcano scientist Dr. Mike Poland has pinpointed the dates for a potential future super eruption after addressing claims it is overdue. The caldera inside Yellowstone National Park spreads over the three states of Wyoming, Idaho, and Montana and poses a significant threat in the event of super eruption. The system is constantly monitored by the United States Geological Survey USGS. For any charges despite such an event not occurring in more than 640 years. Over the years, there have been many unsupported claims that the super volcano is overdue an eruption after the time between each event was calculated. But scientists in charge of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, Dr. Poland, sought to put an, put an end to that in the USGS recent update on their YouTube channel. He said, I thought I'd start out this month's update by talking about one of the most common misconceptions about Yellowstone and that is a big explosive eruption at Yellowstone is overdue. This isn't true and there are two reasons why this is the case. The first is the volcanoes doesn't work that way, they don't erupt on schedules. Volcanoes erupt when there is a sufficient supply of eruptable magma beneath the surface and enough pressure to get that magma up to the surface. Right now, neither of those conditions exist at Yellowstone. Dr. Poland went on to detail how the hotspots may even be in a state of decline. He added, the magma chamber beneath the Yellowstone is only about 5 to 15 percent molten, so it doesn't have enough to generate. It doesn't have enough to generate one of these big explosions. Over the last 15,000 years or so, since the last ice age, we know from the geology of Yellowstone Lake that Yellowstone has mostly gone down. In fact, it's gone down by a net of 30 meters, almost 100 feet over that time period so there is no pressure and there is really no magma to feed one of these really big explosions. Even if Yellowstone did erupt on the schedule, the math still doesn't work out. Dr. Poland went on to dissect the numbers put forward before detailing his own calculations. He said, now, occasionally you will hear that there are 600,000 years or so between Yellowstone eruption and the last one was 631,000 years ago. Well, the last part of that, that's the only part that's true. 631 years ago, Yellowstone caldera, this red line right here formed, but before that was the Aries 4 caldera, the green curve right there. That was about 1.3 million years ago. And before that was the purple line that outlined the Huckleberry Ridge caldera. And that was 2.1 million years ago. If you look at the time period between those, the average eruption interval between these explosions is actually 725,000 years or so, which means that actually we have another 100,000 years or so to go. But the expert admitted even that number may not be correct adding that there could be another super eruption. He continued, if you go further back in time, there are even longer time periods and if you talk about the really big explosion, Henry's fork was actually not a super eruption. So if you look only at the super eruptions, it actually looks like the time between eruption is getting longer and this may be because Yellowstone hotspot is encountering thicker and thicker continental crust. It is basically harder to burn through the crust from beneath, so it may be that we don't see near as many or perhaps any of these big explosive eruptions in the future. So guys, a lot have been said, a lot of things, a lot of prospects and we found out that there is no scheduled date for magma to erupt for us to have super eruption. So we can only speculate, we can only analyze and we can only say that there is no um, fixed date or 
uh, a date that we can say this is the day it's going to happen uh, whereas there are also other factors that can tell that th- this thing might happen in the nearby time or um, the timing is very close you can say okay these factors these factors are already occurring in the terrain so you can say this is about to happen but for now we've not seen anything there's nothing to show for it so you can't say that thank you very much for watching if you have anything to say kindly leave it in the comment section thank you don't forget to subscribe leave a comment turn on the notification bell icon to get notified when next we upload new videos see you next